doing my own makeup. It was <laughs> <laughs> very good. We were going to explain the connection between the song, but we don't even uh, do I, I sing occasionally, but uh, you, know. you, you do, and, and that's amazing. Why would you sing into a light bulb? What, what, what was the point of that? Walk us through so it. There's some light. So yeah. A lot of these guys don't want to light you. No, no, fair yeah, we enough. We noticed too. you did actually walk in the dark along the, the, the corridor and things. We apologise about right. that. That's right. And it hit a, a lift and a, and a button lag. and nothing happened. But here you are, and it's lovely to yeah. see you. Since, since, since we last talked, by the way, you've done a movie. It was at Toronto at the film festival the more other day. More than one, actually. Yeah, you've done more than one movie since. You just like never stopped working. Yeah. So the ro the, ro the, the, the 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 Toronto movie. Uh, you're Toronto a DJ. Movie, I think you're referring to is uh, Christmas Horror Story. The Christmas Horror Story. Yeah, that's that's going to be fun. That's um, coming out in October. We're in October now, right? Yeah, we are. Yes. So it's coming out now, and um, it's a good, fun horror story, and you'll be properly uh, frightened. A horror story where you're a DJ, is that correct? Yes, well, you know how DJs are. <laughs> you know how people behind the desk <laughs> doing broadcasting are. They can be horrible. <laughs> it's a fun story. You should go see it. <laughs> Christmas Horror Story coming out. What do, you, um, what do you do to pick apart? What's important? To pick apart? To pick apart. I usually use a knife and fork. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to... <laughs> Ask good questions. Yeah, I can, the questions are letting you down already. The quality of the interview is sinking in the early stage. Picking apart for the movies, what are you, what are you looking for? Entertainment. If it's entertaining to me, it should be entertaining to you, but I make so many mistakes. Um, you, you, you don't know. I, I write a lot. I'm doing a lot of documentaries. I'm doing a lot of stuff of my own. Mm. Uh, selling shows, doing shows. And uh, the, uh, the question is, uh, who, you know, is, is somebody going to buy it? Well, you don't know. And all you can do, and it's kind of uh, dangerous, like it's being on a, on, on a springboard. Uh, well, this makes me laugh. Uh, I hope the heck it makes you laugh. And how many times have you told a joke and somebody says, that's not funny? No. You go, oh, dear. You must have a sense of it by now, though. You must know what works. What no, works. you never know. Really? You really don't know. What was the clincher for Miss Congeniality, then? What was the clincher? Yeah, what made you do that? Um, I liked that movie, by the way. It right. Was great. I, I have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> we, I don't deal in anything six months prior. That's a, the short term memory just goes t to six months, and that's it. Always moving forward. The future is what's in front of us. And in fact, not even that. I've just come from th three, uh, th uh, th 33 days in, uh, in uh, uh, Asia. Mm. Uh, mostly in Thailand, where it's 95% uh, Buddhist. The moment you can't do anything about the past, you can't do anything about the future, all you can do is say, I think I'll have a drink of water. And that's now, that's past. I don't know what the future's holding, but it certainly isn't going to be a drink of water. You always, you always thought that way? You know, intuitively I have, because I'm so frightened you don't know, because the past, I, I don't hold any pictures. I don't have pictures of myself. I don't have any paraphernalia or something like that. I, I, it's, I don't like to look at myself. It's all, that moment is gone. And the only moment now in the future is to say, what a beautiful jacket you have. Fantastic. That's so nice I, of you. I heard nice you were dissing his jeans earlier, so we yeah, need to talk I did, about I that. Did, I did hear that. Yeah. Yes, it was a lovely jacket. If I was 84, I think I'd probably be looking in the mirror. To yeah, well, that's the other, because, that's the other uh, thing. Look you it. certainly don't no, look well, 84. But, 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 the, but the present is I'm here in Auckland in a yeah. one-man show. Oh, yeah. I mean, mustn't forget that this is the present. Yesterday? Gone. Gone. Right. But on Saturday... It's all on. It, 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 it's, that's a little bit in the future, but at least we know that's going to happen. Come back talk about it in just a moment. Oh, um, yeah. William Shatner is staying with us for the rest of the program. But New Zealand, we know, definitely doesn't hate William Shatner. This is the weirdest I've ever been in. <laughs> it's, it's fine. <laughs> you keep talking about all these other people. Oh, no, no, no. And I'm sitting That's because thinking, we just well, want you for the Robbie entire Williams. show. Yeah. Yeah. I had to explain William to William Robbie Williams. William <laughs> Robbie Williams. <laughs> <laughs> you You don't know that. We might. Are you working on uh, just a couple of quick fact checks that you never know are true or not? Are you working on the Leonard Nimoy book? Yes, I finished it. Is it good? It's really good. I wrote the last chapter in which I publish the last note I sent him. Wow. Uh, it's uh, more moving than I, uh, and perhaps more re revealing than I uh, thought. Anyway, it'll be out uh, February 2nd. Fantastic. Yeah. And a nice tribute to a great friend. Oh, yeah. It's about friendship and mm. what a lovely, lovely man he was. Second fact, uh, you've signed up allegedly 2017 50th anniversary 
of the great Star Trek and there's a cruise. You're going cruise. You know, uh, the, the weirdest thing is that Star Trek will be 50 years old. I will have played it 50 years ago next year. So they're planning all kinds of things. So somebody said, would you like to go on a cruise and bring your family mm. and entertain some people twice during the week? I thought, well, that sounds like fun. And so I, I, I've signed on. I can imagine the types of people that would go on something like that. I the, don't even want the to imagine. The trickies. No, I mean, it must no, be don't tell me, so you'll frighten me. intense for you. Are they still already, intense, the trickies now, what, as what, they what, were? What, what kind of people do you think we are? <laughs> <laughs> do you get that, though? Do you get those intense, tricky fans still to this day? And what, 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 are they, what do they do to you? <laughs> 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 Nothing. <laughs> How do you deal with them? Sanely, and hopefully they respond. You know? um, uh, in the same way that large groups of people are coming to, the, what's the name of the theater? ASB, ASB Theater. theater. Are on Saturday night to see the one-man show called Shatner's World. A lot of people who uh, cared about me and the various things I've done, but also people who want to be entertained and laugh and cry and have a great time on Saturday night will be there. And they're all sane. Are they? Most of them are. <laughs> <laughs> the story, where do you start and where do you stop? I mean, when you're trying to encapsulate 50 years of it all in a show, all the stories, well, highlights, like, you know, You geez. know, I don't say that. I started here and ended there. It's... The, the thrust of the show is saying yes to life, the joy of life and the yes to life. And saying no is very easy. Saying yes is difficult, as I say in one line. Saying yes to a one-man show in Auckland carries with it a great deal of risk, folks. You know. But the joy of life is in saying yes. So the stories I tell are stories about gorillas, about motorcycles, about life, about love, about death, about comedy. So they aren't like stories of my life. It's stories of the joy of life and the yes, and there's so much laughter and a few tears and a few, hopefully, words of uh, some wisdom or some acknowledgement. It's what I've got out of you, I think, over the years, is that, that you have this, that I think that's what keeps you young, isn't it? People who perform and love what they do stay young. I just finished a movie, uh, a, a small part in a, in a rather strange movie done by veterans. Uh, who got the money together and have put on a veterans or horror film. And they, wanted, and they voted on who they wanted to play this particular part. My name came up and I said, well, how can I refuse? So I was there. So, yeah, it was something new, something totally different. Mm -hmm. These veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan, not, not older wars, but young guys, voted... They wanted to work with me. Is How there, can I turn that Is down? there still anything else you'd like to say yes to at 84? Is there anything you haven't done? Yes. You and I haven't <laughs> intertwined. <laughs> intertwined? It can be arranged. Can it, Tony? I'm here to help. Who says <laughs> no to William Shatner? You're, you're going to door. erase it? <laughs> it? It can be arranged. Quote, no, she quote. said erased. Oh, erased. <laughs> we'll just leave it like that, shall we? Or did you say arranged? Arranged. Uh, did didn't say see, arranged. See if, if you, you didn't quite understand the accent and it could have been so different. It, was, it could have been so different. And that's our misunderstanding in the world. No <laughs> communication. <laughs> that's the problem. Good. With, uh, between Australians and Americans. <laughs> I think it probably is. Listen, yeah. lovely to see you, as it's always. Lovely, lovely to see you. Come, come to the theatre on Saturday. Got, Saturday night. Nice to see ASV you. ASV Theatre. <laughs>